Hi, in this video, we're going to do a proof. The question is to prove that if n is an odd integer, then 3m plus 7 is even. Before we do this proof, we need some definitions. So recall that we say that x is even, and this is equivalent to saying that x is a multiple of 2. So basically, you can write this as x equals 2k for some integer k. So that's the definition of even. So when someone says x is even, you can automatically assume that you can write it as x equals 2k for some integer k. And you don't know what k is. You can't really specify it. That's why you say for some integer. Likewise, x is odd. This means that x is equal to 2k plus 1 for some integer k. So equipped with this, we should be able to do this simple proof. So proof. So we're going to give what's called a direct proof. So in a direct proof, basically, you assume everything after the if part. So you're allowed to assume that all of this is true. And then you have to show that all of this is true. So you start your proof by writing down this hypothesis. So you say something like, suppose that n is an odd integer. And now you have to show that 3m plus 7 is even. So it's usually kind of difficult just to make the leap from here to here. The next thing you usually do in a proof like this is you write down what your hypothesis means. So what does it mean to be odd? Well, <laughs> luckily we went over it here. So let's just actually say what it means. So this means that n is equal to 2k plus 1 for some integer k. Very nice. Okay, so we've written down our hypothesis. We wrote down what it means for n to be odd. Now we need to investigate and try to justify why this is actually even. So the natural thing to do is to actually just write this down and see what happens. So then, and by the way, I haven't done this problem, but I picked this one because it's just an easy example. So if you're learning to write proofs, this is a great, great example for people who are starting out. So then, 3n plus 7 is equal to, so now we're trying to show this is even, so we're trying to show it's two times a number. So we somehow have to use our knowledge that we've developed in our proof. So we know that n is equal to 2k plus 1, so we can replace the n with that. So this will be 3 times 2k plus 1 plus 7. And now we can distribute 3 times 2k is 6k, 3 times 1 is 3, and then we have our plus 7 over here. So we have 6k, and then 3 plus 7 is 10. Hmm, we're trying to show it's 2 times an integer, so look at this. We can pull out a 2. So we have 3k, because 2 times 3k is 6k, and we can pull out a 2 from the 10, so we get 5. So this is going to serve the purpose of our k, this 3k plus 5. So what we need to specify is that this is an integer, so you want to say where 3k plus 5 is an integer. So it's really important to specify that this is an integer, right? Because in the definition, it says that it's equal to 2k for some integer k. So this has to be an integer. It's 2 times an integer. Well, here we're saying it's 2 times an integer. And if you're curious why this is an integer, it's a product of integers, which is an integer. And then you have a sum of integers, which is also an integer. So the whole thing is an integer. So we have that 3n plus 7 is 2 times an integer, or it's a multiple of 2. So this means, or this shows, 3m plus 7 is an even integer. And that completes the proof. And when you finish your proof, it's good to write something at the end. The Some people write QED. I like to put a box with an X. That's the symbol I like to use. Good luck.